today I am doing a Q&A. I always find them interesting when I watch other people's videos that do these, so I figured I would do one for you guys today. All these questions are going to be off Instagram, so if you are not following me on Instagram, definitely be sure to do so. Uh, the first question is, can we be friends? I love your channel. Yes, we can be friends. Thank you so much. The second question is, what are your favorite indoor activities for the winter? I would say Play-Doh coloring. I'd like to think of some more outside of the box fun ideas to do. It feels like I've always tried some of those sensory activities that I see on Pinterest and my kids end up chucking the stuff everywhere, throwing it at the wall. Do you use essential oils? If so, what essential oils do you use most? What oils did you use while pregnant and for what? First off, I didn't use too many essential oils when I was pregnant because I knew that some essential oils weren't safe for pregnancy and I wasn't really sure what they were and I didn't really take the time to do very much research. What essential oils do I use now the most? I use Eden's Garden essential oils. I really like them. I will have some video linked below of me talking about them. Some of my favorites are lavender, you eucalyptus, thieves oil, I like peppermint. Do you plan on homeschooling? Yes, right now I do plan on homeschooling. How do you find time or energy for intimacy? I don't. <laughs> I definitely feel like we need to work more on balancing. My husband is a full-time student and he works full-time and he works part-time. I am a stay-at-home mom and I do YouTube and so life is insane and we definitely need some more balance in our life to make time for each other more because it really is a priority. Next one is I know that you're a faith-based family but what does that look like in a day or week for your family with such young kiddos? Obviously my kids are really little so they can't really tackle a ton of theological stuff but you would be surprised at how much your kids can remember and if you teach them things at a young age they're more likely to hold on to that stuff and remember it as they get older I would say the main thing that I do that really helps me in incorporating my faith and teaching my kids about God is reading devotionals for them and different books that kind of help me to get a conversation started and talk to them about it at an age-appropriate level Do your kids know about Santa? What are three things you can't live without? Not people or Jesus. Oh gosh, that I can't live without. Oh man, um, goodness. This is gonna be a really hard one, and this is gonna be one of those questions where after I'm done filming, I'm gonna be thinking about it when I'm laying in bed, and I'm gonna be like, oh, I forgot that. Oh, I should've done that. Oh, why did I say that? So, okay, let's say I cannot go without conditioner or leave-in conditioner for my hair. Maybe I'm a weirdo, I just can't go without it. I like my hair to be nice and shiny and soft and coffee. I love coffee, I can't live without coffee. And sugar, I love sugar. So coffee and sugar and leaving conditioner, what the heck, what kind of answer is that? Why did you choose your kids' names? We chose Fiona because it was the only name we could agree on. Ezra was one of three names that we had picked. I think we had Ezra, we had Gideon, and we had Isaiah, and then when we saw him, he totally looked like an Ezra. And then when we found out we were having a boy with Jude, we just really had a piece about Jude, and that's kind of how they came about. All of the middle names of our kids are all after family. Fiona's middle name is after her great-great-grandma who's still alive. Ezra's is after my grandpa, his great grandpa, and then Jude's middle name, Michael, is my husband's middle name. Do you ever have issues with letting go of her control and remembering God is in control? Yes, all the time. I have anxiety issues and I struggle with that. Specifically, a fear of dying and leaving my children behind, my child behind. Thanks for your positive videos. Anxiety has been so prevalent in my life, my whole life. So yes, I do struggle with that. Not specifically a fear of dying and leaving my children behind, but just anxiety, just generalized anxiety over everything. Your videos are such a blessing to me. Thank you. What is your favorite Bible verse at the moment? 
or life verse that is the theme to your life. Jesus bless you, Jamie. Thank you. I would say that one of my favorite Bible verses right now is the verse that is where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. I've really been liking that verse because I really want to fill my home with a spirit of freedom. I want my kids to be free, to be who they are. I want my husband and myself and just my family to just live in freedom and not live in bondage, not to live in anxiety, but to live in freedom and in love. I also really like Bible verses that are referencing to be slow to anger and to be gentle. I think that really helps me with having patience with my little kids. How did you meet your husband? I met my husband when we were in high school. Um, we went to the same church. The church that I grew up in had a skate park and he skateboarded. So I was a church girl and he was not a church kid. He was this little skateboard guy. If you guys want to hear more of that story, I can do that in a separate video because that would take up a lot of time. Would you consider moving your family to Florida so we could be best friends? I think you're awesome. Oh girl, you know, I really want to travel. So if I'm ever in the area, that would be a lot of fun. I don't think I'm going to be moving to Florida anytime soon, but I will tell you that that warm weather sounds really tempting because where I'm living, it's really cold outside. What is your husband in school for? He is in school for theology. He wants to be a professor. He wants to teach theology and to college, to seminary students. And what are his two jobs? One of his jobs is for our church, and then the other job that he has, um, he kind of works in insurance. I won't go into detail about that just for our own privacy, but he does stuff with insurance. With him having so much going on outside of the home, how do you guys manage a healthy balance without becoming burned out? We are working on that right now because we've kind of gone through a season and we've both been burnt out. So that's why I'm filming right now at 9, 10 o'clock at night. I'm investing in lighting while my husband is upstairs doing homework right now and prepping lectures and sermons. My kids are sleeping. The other night we sat down and played a board game together because we really just needed to sit down and connect and you know just hang out. Sometimes it can be really easy to sit on the couch and veg and I found that when we do that we're not connecting. You know if he's got stuff that he's doing on his computer I'm looking at the TV I've got my phone in my hand and we're just like we're not connecting so we are currently trying to do that what do you do to take time for yourself I don't really do too much for myself because I don't really have a lot of time for that but I try to invest in relationships and friendships with other women that are in similar seasons of life that I'm in but I don't do a ton for myself honestly I probably should do more but YouTube is for me a hobby that I love it's a community that I love with women that I I love it just it's really beneficial for both you guys and also for me because I love you guys and I love the community of people that I found in YouTube I also love that YouTube offers me somewhat of a form of income even though it's not huge it's still something and it's nice to be able to do what I love and then also make a little bit of money on the side all right I'm gonna do this next question and then I'm probably going to end up cutting this and turning this into another video or maybe two other videos because I don't want this to be too long and this question is what tattoos do you have and what do they mean to you I love tattoo stories and this is from Ginger. Hey Ginger. Um, I actually have a video talking about all of my tattoos and why I got them and kind of the meaning behind them. So I will link that below. I swear every Q&A video I do, I get this question. All right guys, this is gonna be it for this Q&A video. I will upload another Q&A video. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys later, bye.